Hey everybody, it's Dr. Mark, how you doing? I'm excited to talk to you this morning, or today, wherever you are in the world, about one of my favorite topics, which is magnesium. It is the most important mineral that I've seen clinically make enormous differences for people, and I'm really excited to be able to chat with you about it. And I have a very special guest on Instagram Live today, Wade Lightheart, who's a three-time national all-bodybuilding champion who competed as a vegetarian. Uh, he was a former Mr. Universe competitor and a uh, host of the Awesome Health Podcast. And you know, he started a company called BioOptimizers, which we're gonna talk about today, which is essentially a, a great company that's producing wonderful magnesium, which is why we're talking to them. And they were so nice because they bought a thousand vegan diet books and they distributed them in schools, community centers, libraries, pretty much to spread the world. Uh, and I just wanted to give them a shout out because they were so good to me in the vegan diet. Let's see if we can get them on. I'm gonna invite them. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. Bio-optimizers. This is always a fun part. About live. Okay, send. All right, here we go. Let's see what they send. Um, so I'm really excited because magnesium is something that people don't understand uh, in the way it affects them. Uh, and we're gonna talk about why because <laughs> uh, it's the relaxation mineral. And honestly, we all need a little more relaxation these days because of the amount of stress we're under given COVID and we're so depleted with uh, magnesium. About, oh, half of us are probably depleted. Uh, let me see if I can get these guys to come on now. Let me see, no. Hmm. Hold it there. Maybe they're coming. Oh, I'll just talk about them. <laughs> talk about the magnesium. <clears throat> Okay, well, you know, for those of you who don't know, uh, magnesium is a mineral. It's, uh, it works on over 300 different enzymes in the body, uh, which is why, you know, vitamins and minerals are so important because they're not just doing one thing, they're doing literally hundreds of things. Uh, and magnesium is among the most important minerals in our whole body and one which we're super depleted in and makes us feel really bad. And uh, most doctors kind of miss it and it's easy to treat and it's, it's actually can change people's lives. And I got so many great magnesium stories. Italy from Maine, we've got California, Sweden, holy cow, we've got everybody coming along. Um, so, okay, hold on here, let me just make sure, let me just check and see, uh, one sec. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo. If I can text them and see. Hmm. Let's see what he says. So, um, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, I just want to tell you one story of this patient. She was a, uh, a doctor um, <clears throat> and she had severe migraines, uh, like just incapacitating. She was a radiation oncologist at Mayo Clinic and had seen the best, quote, the best doctors, which is <laughs> but they're not seeing the right uh, framework uh, from the perspective of the doctor because the doctors know how to get to the root cause, which is what functional medicine is. Anyway, uh, she had terrible migraines. She was on all those migraine pills, narcotics, anti-nausea medication. She basically also had all these other symptoms. I, I said, so um, do you have any other symptoms like palpitations or anxiety or insomnia, which are all depletion of magnesium and headaches. Anything with spasms, cramps, or twitches is a magnesium symptom. And uh, she, I, she said, yeah, I have all that. And then I said, what about uh, constipation? She said, no, no, no. I said, I'm regular. I said, what do you mean? How often you go? She's like, oh, I go every week. <laughs> like that's not regular. That's that's maybe regular for you, but it's not optimal. And so she was severely constipated. And we got her on magnesium, but we needed really, very really high doses of magnesium because she was depleted and had all these magnesium depletion symptoms. So we basically gave her uh, thousands of milligrams for a little while, and we sort of tapered it down. And she was able to go to the bathroom daily. Her migraines went away. Uh, she was able to keep working. She was going to have to go on disability. And so it's like you know. It's just such a funny, uh, simple thing to do, but in, in medicine, we use magnesium in the emergency room. We use it if people are having, uh, uh, you know, preterm labor or if they're having seizures or, <laughs> so it's, it's like the last resort, uh, although maybe it should be the first resort. Let me see if I can find a way again, I don't know where he is, but if not, we'll have to sort of do this again with, he comes. Um, okay, let's 
so we've got M1, uh, Okay, well, you know what? For having there we go. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, for, for whatever uh, reason. Thank you. Mark. Hi, Wade. Yeah, we were just, I was about to give up. I was like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, those things just, happen sometimes. Technology. Technology. Yeah, it's funny. All this great technology, but sometimes, uh, you know, the Instagram live seems the most trickiest. But here we are. You're, you're, you're uh, coming in a little weak. I don't know if it's on your uh, good, a good connection or not, but you're a little fuzzy. I don't know if you can okay, let me more. let me just see if I can move. Sort of I can out. move. We just got a blast of some just, light. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Just your picture is kind of fuzzy. That's all. I want people to see. Huh. It. It's just one second here. Well, let's get it. Looks like you have a bad connection. <clears throat> is that any better? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. So listen, you know, I just want to really thank you because you know you. Um, you uh, at Bioptimizers uh, were so gracious and bought a thousand books for the vegan diet. And um, you went to you know, schools and libraries, community centers, and then you know you did all kinds of amazing, amazing work uh, to get the book out there. Yeah, I super appreciate it. Um, so I'm, I'm just excited to chat with you about uh, you know one of the most important things you guys make uh, is called uh, magnesium. Um, and, uh, and I, I sort of, uh, you know, talked a little bit about it before you got on because I was just trying to explain to you what the, the importance of magnesium and how critical it is and how it, you know, basically is responsible for hundreds and hundreds of different of enzyme reactions in the body and our tissues, bones, muscles. But, you know, between 50 to 80 percent are either insufficient or deficient. And I, and I think the regular tests we do at the doctor's office don't really work. Um, and I just want to sort of give you a quick reason why doctors miss it. One, they're not looking for it and they don't know how to identify the symptoms. And two, the, um, the test that we do, which is a blood level of magnesium, is a very poor indicator of your total body level of magnesium because it's mostly inside the cells. So we're looking for it in the blood, but it's like looking in the wrong place, right? So uh, we basically should be doing a test that's uh, called a magnesium loading test, which is essentially where you, where you basically uh, take a ton of magnesium and then you collect your for 24 hours and you see how much your body pees out or keeps. And if it keeps a lot, it means you're deficient. But nobody's doing that test. <laughs> the red cell magnesium is a little better, but and there's some other indirect indicators of magnesium. But it's such a big issue. So first, let's talk about why is this such a big problem? Wait, why is why is magnesium such a, a huge issue in terms of, of the deficiency? Why why should we care about it? Yeah. Well, first off, thanks. And I got to just comment before that. This book, which I read, uh, is an extraordinary job, and it's no wonder that you've been on the New York Times bestseller for so many times because it's it's a really efficiently written book and that's I want to comment on about it it's just it's just bang 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 it's really well laid out I really like it but when it comes to uh, magnesium we were very happy to uh, join in the sponsorship of, of putting this book into people's hands I think it's going to make a big difference but when it comes to magnesium we have to look back to uh, 80 years ago and 80 years ago you know the world changed dramatically with the dropping of the atomic bomb and the ushering in of the baby boomer generation and people moving from rural local farming processes into cities and production became, you know, things went all around the world, travel, distribution, and our food production and distribution changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. And over that time, we went into uh, government, you know, and these are unintended consequences of technological innovation. And basically, we started to say, how are we going to speed all these people? Monoculture farming came in, factory production, fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, the depletion of the food quality, the mineral extraction, the enzymes, the microbiome. All of these things became altered dramatically over the last 80 years. So a lot of people talk about, you know, the evolution as hunter-gatherers, and then we went to the agricultural age, which evolved over a thousand years. We've radically changed everything in the last 80. And that process amongst contributing to a variety of chemical intoxicities has really stripped the soil of essential vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and the components that are normal to a human diet, regardless of your dietary choice. Can I jump in there for a minute? What you said is really important. And I, I think the agricultural piece is so key 
And I think, I think that there's just a nuance I want to clarify, which is that the thing that actually helps the, the, the plants extract the minerals from the soil is what's missing, which is the, the, the carbon and the microbial life and basically the microbiome of the soil. And when that's gone, the, 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 the bugs are no longer there. And the bugs are the things that are mycorrhizal fungi that actually help the plants extract the minerals. So it's not that the soils don't have the minerals. Is that the plants can't get them because we poison the soils with glyphosate and other toxic chemicals that actually lead to uh, the loss of soil with all the soil erosion too from tillage. So that's really the problem. And, and, and so on one hand, we have like incredibly um, um, depleted, uh, you know, carbon and, and microbial life in the soil, which leads to basically depleted vegetables. And if you look at the vegetables today, they're 50 percent less. Uh, rich in minerals than they were 50 years ago. So your broccoli you might have less magnesium than it did 50 years ago, right? Uh, absolutely. And then there's another interesting thing and in related to magnesium is living in a, in a electromagnetically uh, diverse environment or intense environment as with the advent of technology, we actually exhaust our magnesium stores at a much higher rate. And so magnesium is involved in uh, well over 300 different processes, enzymatic activities, but it's also an element that creates the relaxation response in our muscles. So for example, as an athlete, oftentimes when people start get cramping, it's because of deficiencies in magnesium. Also irregularity in heart rates can be traced to magnesium deficiencies. And of course, um, some, some of the best athletic coaches in the world have identified how magnesium can support hard training athletes. But staring into screens, being into blue light, being subjected to a lot of, you know, of the electromagnetic pollution that we are actually causes us to burn more magnesium. So we have one, we have an inability to extract it from our food. And two, we have an increased need for magnesium uh, with the modern lifestyle today, leading to what I would say is a widespread um, deficiency. And there's one other piece, magnesium and calcium exist in a two to one ratio. And thanks to the marketing campaigns out there for the last, you know, 50 years, everything's been focused on calcium for strong bones. But if you have high levels of calcium and low levels of magnesium, your body starts dumping the calcium trying to bring these back into ratio. So it's a combination of all these things over the last 80 years, it's left us in a place that we've got to identify how do we bring back? And I love that simple test that you had about identifying magnesium absorption. One of the things I use uh, with our clients and myself was when I found out my own deficiency and I have a, you know, I'm pretty on top of these things was a spectra cell test, uh, which is yeah. really great because they spin the blood and they see how well you absorb nutrients and what's deficient. And that, that's been a great one for, uh, for myself. And that's where it led to the discovery of, hey, I need not just magnesium, but I needed a bunch of different types of magnesium as Charles Poliquin, the late uh, coach who uh, I went to a seminar of his and he identified that his Olympic athletes needed different types of magnesium because different parts, parts of the body absorb different types of magnesium. Yeah. And that was crazy, right? So that was a new thing. And that's where we got into the rabbit hole of magnesium. And, and that's where we ended up producing magnesium breakthrough. That's right. And I think the, the other thing that people don't realize, you say a lot of our modern lifestyle habits actually cause magnesium loss. Coffee, sugar. <laughs> um, yeah. Obviously not eating magnesium in our foods, which comes from beans and greens and, uh, and, and uh, other nuts and seeds and other plant foods, which we eat very little of. Uh, and also stress, uh, which is kind of interesting when you look at the just effect of psychological stress on the body it increases magnesium excretion in the urine. So you're literally leaking magnesium the more stressed you are. And it, it, it is the antidote to stress, essentially. If you are stressed or anxious or irritable, anything is crampy, twitchy, you know, people are asking about the symptoms. So talk about some of the symptoms uh, and the signs of magnesium deficiency. Yeah, one of the things is if you become overstimulated with a little bit of caffeine, it's usually a good example that like, if let's say you have tea or, and you get all jittery or coffee, that's a good example. Uh, inability to sleep through the night is a very common one. Um, and oftentimes, if, you know, the brain, if your brain's kind of revved up and you can't seem to stop thinking or you can't seem to relax, muscle cramping, 
Um, constipation can sometimes be caused from uh, low levels of magnesium. And what I would say is high levels of anxiety. So if you find yourself like overly anxious about the future, these type of things, many of those are traced to magnesium and neurotransmitter formation. Um, I know you touched on uh, neurotransmitters inside your book, which was uh, fantastic. And I think we're going to see more and more nutritional based programs identifying it. And what's interesting, a lot of people that are using medications, um, particularly for mental health, also put a drain on magnesium. That's why they take the switch because magnesium's uh, key in forming the new neurotransmitters that make us feel calm, relaxed, happy, and connected. And of course, in these times, that's not generally what a lot of people are feeling <laughs> with the current state of the world. So uh, it's putting extra stress yeah. on us. Yeah, I mean, you know, as a doctor, I've seen so many patients with magnesium deficiency just completely misdiagnosed, right? Whether it's a migraine or constipation or anxiety or insomnia or muscle cramps or headaches or all kind of, even depression. I mean, it's just, it's interesting to see how much of our common symptoms that we just sort of take for granted or think is normal uh, are really a result of a nutritional deficiency. And sometimes, you know, there's certain, there's certain things that you give people as a doctor that have massive impact. And magnesium is one of those sort of like great tricks that, that we have in our kit bag in functional medicine. Because <laughs> If we can identify, we give, it's like a miracle. Oh my God, I'm sleeping. Oh, I'm not. Uh, constipated anymore. All my muscle cramps are gone. It's just people have this great response, and it's so easy, and it's so safe. So one of the one of the things that we should be doing about getting more magnesium. What are the best sources? Yeah. So if you go food. into you know, of course, everybody's going to say, "Wait, dark chocolate." <laughs> the problem with most dark chocolate, it's got sugar with it. But uh, you know, living in dark chocolate's great. Avocados is probably one of the best ones. I know you talk about it for babies, particularly getting them avocados is one of your sources of food. Um, nuts, almonds, cashews, brazils, um, seeds, pumpkin, flax, and chia. Um, bananas, leafy greens. Um, tofu, if it's done correctly. If it's not done correctly, I would avoid it because there's a lot of genetically modified. You really need to be very mindful of any of the soy-based or tofu-based products. And different types of legumes. Those are very good sources of it. Again, you're going to have to make sure that you get foods that are digestible by your body and that you have the capacity to, to as I say, uh, digest, absorb and use the food that you're eating. So this is where, you know, a functional medicine doctor can be very imperative to help you determine which foods work for you, your microbiome, as you kind of optimize your gut. And uh, I noticed that you had you identified that fairly early on in your book about the importance of, of getting your microbiome in order in order you can absorb the foods that you're eating. Because you can eat the best diet if you're, again, like the soil, if you don't have your gut figured out, you're not breaking down that food and now it becomes a potential contaminant, certainly discomfort. Yeah, for sure. Um, so one of the things I also wanted to ask about was supplements because you know we often hear that supplements don't work or they're a waste of money or, you know, if you eat the right foods, you don't need them, and maybe you don't absorb them. And you know, the question in my in my uh, practice is often like, should I be taking them? Do they work? And I can tell you, as a doctor who's been doing functional and nutritional medicine for forty years, uh, you know, there is no doubt in my mind that that you know, when people are insufficient or deficient, and you replete their their system with the right nutrients, that they do better. Um, and you know, we. We, we don't often realize how much these things affect us and how often low we are in some of these things. So I think it's, and clinically, um, you know, I test everybody and I see massive deficiencies. You think we live in a country where we're mal not malnourished or getting what they need, but not really. So um, the magnesium is something that I often get all um, very particular about because you can't just take any old magnesium. If you go to the drugstore and you get the magnesium, it's going to be magnesium oxide, which doesn't get absorbed very well. It's not working on some of the specifics. And you mentioned even for magnesium for the brain or the heart or the muscles or the, you know, it's it interesting. So to talk a little bit about, um, about what is the, the, the forms of magnesium we should be thinking about and how do we know which one's the right one to take and, and, uh, and why my, people might be taking the wrong one. Yeah, great, great questions. And first and foremost, I always say that you cannot supplement your way out of a poor lifestyle. However, in conjunction with a functional medicine doctor, I think it's really good to help identify specific supplements that could augment where you are in a given moment as you kind of get your diet and lifestyle in, in, in the best order. 
And I think the combination of those two things makes supplement works. Randomly shotgunning things, I'm not a big fan of because you can waste a lot of time, effort, and money. Better off to hire a coach first, uh, you know, a, a, a medical doctor to get specifics on you, N of one. Um, when it comes to magnesium, uh, there's a lot of different types. And there's, for example, um, citrate is one that people would have the most consequences with. So in other words, it draws a lot of water into the intestinal tract. So it's good for maintaining, uh, for people that suffer from constipation or those type of situations, which is very, very common. That's one of the best products for that. But too much of that is the one that leads to the most common elements where people said, I took too much magnesium and got the runs or whatever. Citrate, you want a little bit of it, but not too much. Um, bisglycinate, those one, that one particularly is related to heart function and heart health uh, in order to make their regulation and, and also decrease blood pressure. So for people who have, you talked about migraines and stuff, magnesium is a vasodilator. In other words, uh, a lot of migraines are caused by the constriction of blood vessels used to an inflammatory response in the body, something they ate, <laughs> you know, and then uh, magnesium Bisglycinate is really good for that. Also type 2 diabetes. It's been a lot of research showing that it helps break down sugars. Uh, magnesium malate. This one, um, for people who are suffering from a lot of fatigue or they're not resting well, that's a great one for that. It's also related to the enzymatic responses inside the body. Torate, magnesium torate, cardiovascular health, prevention of migraines, cognitive function and memory. People suffering from memory loss because Torate kind of works like GABA, one of the key neurotransmitters in the brain. Uh, also, that one has been shown in a lot of research for PMS. A lot of women who suffer from horrific cramping and pain during their menstrual cycles have found yeah. really big relief from using that. There's a lot of research around Torate in particular. Um, also, magnesium orotate is another uh, another one that is very good, particularly the, the research around bone health and cardiovascular support. So yeah. um, also when you're taking this, and you talked about the ability to bring the magnesium out. One of the things that we've added to our products is humic and fulvic acid, which is what plants use to convert inorganic minerals into bioavailable uh, minerals in the body. Um, vitamin B6 and manganese is also used in the absorption and utilization, and we combine those into formulas. The other thing is, is um, when you're doing magnesiums, it, when we started, I ended up getting literally, Matt and I, we had like bottles of each type of these, and we started creating spreadsheets and figuring out combinations that would work. It got really, really messy and really expensive. And the other thing was, is making sure you don't have all the weirdness. Uh, and what I mean by the weirdness is a lot of supplements will add what's called excipients, flow regulators that make this stuff come through the, the, the funnel and into your cap nicely, but they have no business being in your body. So one of the policies that we have at Bioptimize is we don't use any weird chemical agents or excipients. And we had to go through a big issue to kind of get all those out of uh, like out of that in the production. It was very complicated to make that product. And we combined all seven of those magnesiums together to make a, a formula that covers all your basis points. It means you use less to get more. Yeah. So, so you really have to focus on the form of the magnesium you're taking, not just whether it's magnesium, it's relevant which kind. And I, I think that it does make a difference. If you're someone that tends toward diarrhea, you take citrate, you're gonna be in trouble. If, you know, glycinate is great for detoxification, like you said, taurine great for the heart, I mean, for seizures and neurologic stuff, so it's great. So I just want to close up by uh, asking about this product that you guys have called Magnesium Breakdown. What makes it different? Well, one that we've combined all seven of those magnesiums into one simple capsule broken down in what we feel from our research is the perfect ratio of all of those magnesium elements. We've got the humic and fulvic acid uh, in it, uh, the B6 and the manganese in order to maximize the absorption and utilization of it. It's a uh, vegetarian capsule, so people that are concerned about that. And uh, no chemical agents, no weird excipients. And the best part about it is with all our products, anybody that tries it, um, there's no risk. You try it, if it's not the best magnesium you have, we just give you your money back. It's really that simple and easy. And uh, this, this one went, this has been a runaway we seller because we used it 
essentially I use it to fix my own self. I got stressed out from running three companies, burning myself out, not following all my own advice. And so I, when I went to a functional medicine doctor, we identified I was burning through my magnesium from my kind of excessive lifestyle. And so when I added that back in, I calmed down, I started to sleep better. And then we figured out, well, well maybe we should make this for ourselves. And then all of a sudden we found out that like there was literally millions of people that were <laughs> deficient in magnesium. So that's really the product. Amazing. That's great. So, I mean, I, I think you know, there's a lot of stuff out there and I'm pretty picky about what I recommend. Uh, and I think, you know, I've been clinically using product for a long time. So I know there's a huge difference between ones that actually are well-designed, well-manufactured, that have the right standards of manufacturing. And I think you guys, you guys really meet that bar. And I'm sort of excited to be able to share this sort of conversation about magnesium, which is such a big problem for people and it's like such an easy fix so many times people just kind of miss the boat in clinical medicine about this but if you look at just magnesium deficiency symptoms if you think you have any of it if you're if you're in there try some magnesium because it really works and good news is there's a discount code for only 24 hours for um people watching instagram live just go to ig live 15 uh, which is the, i mean sorry there's a discount code is ig live 15 for 15 percent off at biooptimizers.com forward slash dr hyman that's b-i-o-t sorry, B-I-O-P-T-I-M-I-Z-E-R-S dot com at Dr. Hyman, just D-R Hyman, and then use the code IGLive for 15% off. Um, and uh, it's, it's really, really exciting to be able to kind of share this story about magnesium. I don't talk, I've written a lot about it in the past, but I haven't talked about it in a while. So I think it's, it's such a key, simple win for people. And thanks, Wade, for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having us. And for all those who are watching, if you haven't got this book, this is, this is, this is so good. I get a lot of books to review and I just want to say you did a great job on it. Knocked it out of the park again. Uh, so it's a real honor to, uh, to be on your show and to kind of contribute to getting that message out to more and more people. So thanks so much uh, for doing the, the, that work. It's great. And uh, I look forward to uh, con your continued success in this area. All right. Thanks, Wade. Really great talking to you. Take care. Take care.